So today it's decided to make a quick video to show you a new script I created uh, with the use of Dynamo. Dynamo is a package that comes with a Civil 3D 2021 bundled together. But if you have the older versions, you have to download it separate and then install it. So the purpose of this script is to help members, uh, people my work with, uh, to kind of ease the tasks. The tasks we're going to be easing mainly are going to be three main tasks. One is placement of signs along an alignment automatically. That means to say if you have a spreadsheet with the changes, uh, you just run it and it places the signs along the alignment, uh, placing lighting or any other form of blocks, let's say like pipe culverts. So without wasting time, let's kickstart the video. So all you have to do is uh, start the program of choice. In my case, it's going to be a uh, Civil 3D 2021. In this case, so we have uh, 2021. When you download the package file I've given you, there is going to be a file called Signs DNY. Uh, the, DNY the DNY extension stands for Dynamo. So make sure you put this in a folder where you can always reference it. And uh, this refers to the different spreadsheets that I'm going to be using for this example. Let's look at one called mainline. Uh, so the spreadsheet for the mainline basically has two columns. One is just called the column of the changes. As you can see, the second one is basically the column that's indicating the different blocks. I've used my own random names for the blocks. Uh, so let's uh, go back to Civil 3D. I think Civil 3D has started. So uh, let me open up a drawing uh, with the tools that we need for basically this uh, example. So now here we have a standard Civil 3D drawing. And this is the standard drawing that you would find, uh, just a standard drawing. And it's just showing uh, something simple. It's just showing an alignment, a mainline alignment that's running along. And what we want to do is we want to place a number of signs. These signs maybe have been provided by the specialist in your organization or anyone whom you've agreed the signs with. They've had review and people have agreed on where they should be. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're now going to start Dynamo. So um, when you look at the home page, normally when you fire up Civil 3D, it's normally on the home tab. So to access Dynamo, you have to go to the manage tab so after you're going to the, uh, the manage tab you go all the way to the right so you find that there are two icons one is called dynamo the other is called dynamo player now dynamo is basically an interface where we create the scripts uh, one of the scripts i'm talking about uh, called the sign script so if i look at it uh, you can see it here if i open it up what you create with the script is you create a number of commands that are reading in the Excel file that you're reading and a bunch of commands are run to basically automate this process. Um, basically, Dynamo is very powerful in automating a number of things. We can add guardrails. We can add uh, other guardrails. We can add a number of things in terms you want to uh, add signs in basically on the corridor in 3D. Uh, the number of functions, but some of these we're trying to look at the ones we can incorporate in our workflow. So to basically kick it off is uh, we're going to use a Dynamo player. The Dynamo player assumes you already have uh, the script that you want to work with. So in this case, when you click the Dynamo player, this part is going to be empty. So all you have to do is basically browse for the location of your uh, of your script. Now. Uh, for my case, it's on the desktop, so I click OK. So what happens is the location for your scripts will uh, basically show up here. If you have a number of scripts, they will all come up. And I think if you have Civil 3D uh, 2021, you may have around 10 scripts here that are default and are trying to guide you and help you. So now to fire this script up is the, num the number of buttons here. You can see there's a big play button. This runs a script. There's one which says edit inputs. This helps you edit basically the inputs for the script. This helps you edit the script in Dynamo if you want to make changes to it. And here it's showing you the status of the script. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the inputs. Now for this script, I made basically around five inputs. The first is look for the path for the signs. So for this case, normally signs have something we call uh, sign plates where you want to show, oh, this is where the sign will be basically. Um, so for that case, um, I named this in the spreadsheet something we call sign faces. They're called sign plates. Uh, maybe just, let me just go back to the drawing just to show you something. I think I skipped it. Maybe let me just go back and show you that. So here we can see the different signs that I want to place. 
Uh, these are the signs that I created. As you can see, the signs are lined up along the same, you could say, Y axis. I want to make sure when they when they are lined up along the alignment, they are perfectly parallel. They're, they're perfectly parallel. They're not like one is offset or the other is not offset. In case you want them offset, have the base point separate. So as you can see, I've created a sign here and the base point is uh, the base point is on the right hand side. The, you want to make sure the base point is on the right hand side. And if you look at uh, the properties, you can see the name. I've named this 0.75i. Uh, this is the name I've given the block, but you can give it any name you want, the names that are easier to remember for your case. So let's say this one, I've named this sign. You can see this on the right hand side. And then uh, the name of the sign is basically uh, M1. So how do we do this? Let's say you have your sign. I'm going to explode this so that we do this from scratch together. I want to name this M1. So I uh, just start the block command, which means write block, uh, which is W block. After you've done that, it's going to bring up a dialog box that's going to ask you, okay, you want to write a, you want to write the block. What should we do? So go and pick a base point. I want to pick a base point that's very near on the right hand side. So somewhere around here. And then I want to select all the different objects that are necessary for the sign. That is to say that once I'm done with that, I want to name it. Uh, this is the most important part. You have to remember this name. So I want to name this M1. I click OK. It's going to ask me, uh, do you want to replace? I've already made this block. So uh, for your case, you won't have to do this. So it's going to ask us to export some AutoCAD map information. This is OK. So after you finish this, uh, you have basically now your sign. Now, this is what I did for all the signs. Now, you find that um, we have a number of blocks here that we'll discuss later on. Those we handle differently. So, you find I place my signs along one axis. Now, this is the sign plate I'm talking about, which is showing basically the location of the sign with an arrow. So, I'd prefer we normally put the sign plate and then we put uh, the signs. So, as you can see, its, uh, its name is basically sign plate. So, if we go back to the Excel spreadsheet, and we look at uh, a spreadsheet called, uh, for my case, uh, if I browse for it, it's, it's a spreadsheet called, so if I browse for it, there's a spreadsheet called um, Mainline. I gave it an extension of A, which shows basically the different chain edges, the same chain edges with the signs, just with the sign plate. So those are the ones I'm going to run for this case. So let's start with that. So we have our alignment. Now the alignment, you have to know the alignment name. This is very important. So if we go back to the inputs uh, that we have for Dynamo, one is you browse for the file, the location of the, the location of the Excel spreadsheet. Now for this case, I'm starting with the sign plates. Now you can name it sign plates. For this case, I named it mainline A. Uh, it's going to ask you for the name of the alignment. If I go back to the alignment, if I look here, the number of alignments and the alignment where I want to put my, my, my signs is called M1. So I'm going to, you can copy the name, but I'm going to just type M1. I've already done that. Don't spend your time. Now we have something called the number slider. Now this number slider refers to the offset. How far do you want it away from the center line? Now you can do a quick measurement and guess. So normally, uh, because the alignments, you find that the, uh, the, we call them the chain edges, are normally on the left hand side. I prefer to have an offset including the chain edge. So we're going to go for something around 60. 60 me best case 60 meters so you're going to type in here the offset now if you're doing in following the alignment perfectly uh this should be minus 60 because it's on the left hand side so we have a negative offset um you can still use the slider if you want uh but i prefer to measure and have something very accurate so you have minus 60 after this you have basically the layer i want to put it on the layer called sign plates i put this so that when you're creating the signs, you can uh, use a nice feature whereby you put the date. Let's say today is 30th of April 2020. 
Okay, so I want to make sure the signs that I'm creating, the sign plates I'm creating have this. I can select basically and copy this because I want to make sure I have the same uh, naming. Uh, keep the rotation 270. This is the initial rotation. After you put in all the necessary information, then you run it. So if you run it, you can see it has put sign plates along here, along the different parts where I'm expecting signs to be. Here, here, basically that. So then what I do is now I can run this official signs. The official signs are under mainline. And now the official signs, the offset, I'm going to just calculate from the center. What's the offset I need? Uh, we need roughly around 110, 110 meters, 112. Let me use 112. So I go back, I revise this to 112. After this, I keep all these the same. So I can just change this to signs without the plates and i just have that it's going to create a new layer with this so if all the information is okay what should happen is when you run the script it's going to basically place the signs automatically so if i move dynamo a little bit out of the way we can see we have a sign showing uh we have 0 0.75 kilometers approach to basically a, an off ramp uh we have the sign that's showing the speed we have one that's showing, oh, the expressway is ending. And then we have a sign at basically the off ramp showing, oh, if you go this side, you can basically access this. And then we also have the sign that's uh, showing the inform kind of information kind of sign. So you find that we've been able to place all these signs because we named the blocks. Now, this is happening in one direction. This is what you would do all your signs. Now, let's say we have signs in the opposite direction. Uh, so all we have to do is we just have to change a few number of things. So I'm going to just browse for the file showing the sign plates again in the reverse, which is an A file. I named it A for my case. We're still on the M alignment. Now on the other side, you find that because there's no alignment, I prefer to put the signs very close. Uh, for this case, uh, we're going to use roughly a value of around, let's use 30. So this case, it's positive because it's on the other side. Okay. Um... We still put it on the signs layer. I'm going to paste the sign plate layer because I still want them to have the same. So change this to 90 degrees. Okay. And then after that, I uh, just run the script. And if you look at it, the script has created the sign plates. So after the sign plates have been created, I can know how far I have to go off. Roughly around 85 so if I get, uh, I, I again browse for the script for the signs, which is reverse. I do 85, I do 90, and basically this is going to remain as signs. Then I run the script. What will happen is you'll find that other signs have been created, and these signs are basically what I have said. So I've showed that, oh, this area, 50 kilometers per hour, there'll be no cyclists and all. And in that regard, uh, I'm showing here a sign. This is the start of the motorway. Then you have 50 kilometers per hour. And then you have an information sign that's showing basically how far the different areas are. Now, this is one of the functionalities. You find that we've been able to populate this drawing in roughly a short amount of time. So if you have like two to 300 kilometers of alignments, just figure out where your signs are, put them in a spreadsheet, give them very good block names, and then just run them. If there's ever any change you need to make, you can just delete out the sign and rerun the spreadsheet with the sign that you need. Now, the other cases where we may need to use maybe this script. Let's say you now need to put a case of lighting. I need to show lighting. Our lighting is best carried in the New Jersey barrier for this case. And what they've told me is uh, we need a lighting spacing of roughly 40 meters. So uh, if I look at my spreadsheet, um, my spreadsheet is going to kind of highlight just to show you what it is uh the spreadsheet has le le is the name of the block okay so again we have the chainages now the chainages are easy to create so let's say you have a chainage over 72 plus 820 and they've told you oh we need the spacing at 45 meters so all you have to do is just select this uh plus this and just make the second cell a constant, then you can just run this until you reach a chainage that you're okay with. So that's all I did. Just a quick spreadsheet that you run and you have everything. So after that, I have the spreadsheet with the chainages are showing my lighting. I'm happy with this. 
I'm like, okay, now I'm going to just run it in Dynamo. Okay, I don't want to save it because I've already saved it. Okay, we go back to Dynamo, uh, which is basically Civo 3D. Uh, so we do the same. I think I had already done something similar, but I can just select and remove them. Select similar, delete. So for this case, what we have is we browse for the file for the lights, which is LE. We know we are putting it along M1, the name of the alignment. I want offset to be zero because I want it at the center. Okay. So I can name this, what should I name it? I think I'm going to just name it lighting. Okay. And I want the rotation to remain to 70. Any of the two will work because they are similar, but I'll do 70. So if you run the script, you're going to see that it has created basically uh, lighting at roughly 45 meters. And this has done it at the changes we prescribed. So you find there are certain cases whereby uh, based on your lighting analysis, there are certain changes where you should put the lights. They're not normally at a constant. So if I, let's say you have an interchange, you're not going to have it being constant. They may just prescribe certain areas where you need to put them. So if you know the changes, then you can run the script and it can basically uh, create the lighting. So this can be the same case with the culverts. So for this case, I think I have a PP. I have something with the pipe culverts. And I want them to run along the M1. Same thing. So I'm going to name this layer pipe culverts. Because I want it to show the pipe culverts at certain changes. So uh, the rotation will still remain 70. And it's the same. So when I run the script, you find that oh, I just place the pipe culverts at the changes I wanted. You find that... Uh, the team, let's say your hydrologist has given you certain changes at which they want the pipe covers to be. Uh, this can help you populate it in the plan. Okay. And you can see that uh, the pipe covers are there. Now, I'm currently working on a script whereby you can create multiple pipe covers, several 3D pipe covers in one click. If you know the changes, uh, you know the sizings. It's some script I'm working on, just trying to finalize it. But I'm thinking uh, this is a script that should help you place anything. If let's say you have bollards, you have fencing, you have anything you want to place along an alignment, um, this is a script that should be able to help you. In case you have any comments or any challenges you face using the script, you can always contact me. Uh, but I found this to really help me in designing things really fast and making them really very neat. Otherwise, uh, stay safe, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, you can send your feedback and comments. Thank you.